Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial on views. At the end of the last tutorial, we made we just moved the index view to a home folder. And this is what we have. Now if we look at the source, there's really no structure here. I mean we have it in H2 tag, but there's nothing else. There's no body, there's no nothing like that. And if we and it's even simpler if we go to the about route. That we just that we did also, and look at the source. It's just text. Now Laravel allows you to use just standard HTML and PHP formats, but the truly to truly use the power of Laravel, we'll be using Blade uh, Laravel's templating engine called Blade. One of the great features of Blade is that it allows you to define a master page and to do that we're going to start all over so inside this views folder I'm going to create a new folder and call it layouts you don't have to do this and this isn't required but this is how I have things laid out and I need to rename it because I split it lay <laughs> lay a no in there but this is like a, how I like to keep things organized. So inside this layouts folder, I'm going to create a new file, and save it, call it master.blade.php. Okay. Now using Emmet, I'm just going to have an HTML5 boilerplate. And this is where we can define what's going to go into our master page in what will be the data that's actually put into the, ma the master page itself. So for instance this, t this title tag we can make that dynamic. Using Blade we can just assign a variable and instead of saying we can say echo title if we want to but it's not necessary because it's given that this a variable inside these te the tags the blade tags the blade templating curly braces it's already taken I mean given that you're going to be echoing that out so you can echo out the title tag and inside the body we're simply going to yield content and it could be anything you want it could be main It could be anything, so we're just going to keep it as content. Okay. Now, if we wanted to add CSS, let's just grab this CSS. From the stock level for we're just going to go down to public, create a new folder, call it CSS. Inside here, we're just going to save this as style.css. So style.css. Return that. Then come back in the blade into this master page and simply call the HTML class, the link, the style method. We're just going to say CSS style that CSS, and that's all we have to do. Let me call spell style first, and then let's go back in here and just we'll just go ahead and grab this here. And in this index page is what we'll use. So here we'll say at now this is where it's different from level three. If you remember in level three it was at layout and then it would be layouts that master. 
where layouts is the folder and master is the file. Here in level four, it's different. It's no longer layout, it extends. So this index.php, which we have to rename now, to blade, so it's going to be that blade, so index.blade.php, save that. Anytime you're using the blade template engine, you need to have the blade inside the file name, so index.blade.php. So now this is extending layouts.master, so it's extending the master page. Then here we're just going to paste what we cut earlier. So paste, clean it up a little bit. Now, to actually show this, we have to add at section content, which is what we just yielded here. This will yield the content. So content coming from index.blade will show here within these two body tags. Then save this. So this isn't different, any different than level 3.2. The difference is, however, is that in level 3.2, when we were done, we just said end section. Now that has also changed in level 4, and it has simply become stop. So there we have index.blade.php, which will be its whose content will be yielded by this at yield content tag. And the one last thing we have to do is take the CSS that's here, copy it, and paste it into the style that CSS. So now we have to go out and make sure the route is okay, which it is, and refresh, and we have an undefined variable title. Now, to set, if you look, we had set the variable title here. Now to use a variable, we simply define, we simply go in and define it define it, which we'll do here, so title equals L4 basics, so level 4 basics. Now to pass this variable through to the view, we simply use the with helper, with as a helper function, so with title which is the key, and the value, which is title. So we do this, we'll go back out and refresh, and there's another error, the syntax return. I didn't spell it wrong. I always see the problem. I always forget the end of line statement. So refresh now, and there we go. And essentially, we have done really nothing. We've just moved this over to a view. We're using this CSS, and we're using this master page. So now, how is that powerful? Well, this is what makes it powerful. We can simply just keep adding files here. So new file. Say we want an about. So control shift. So say this is about that blade, that PHP. Okay. So now we can still say at extends layouts that master section content. at stop
think that was dot welcome. Yep. Welcome. This is the about. Now we can go back into the routes and change this. First, we'll give it a title because everyone's going to need a title. So title equals about. We return the view. So return view make. And this is going to be home dot about. And then we're going to pass in the variable, which is the title. So with title, title, and that's all. So now I'm going to go out here and I'm just going to give it just a links. So if we wanted to add like some basic navigation to this, we'll simply use HTML class, the link method. We're going to link it to the first one. We're going to link to the home route, which is actually the default root route. We're going to call it home. Second one, we're just going to say HTML link. This is going to be to the about route. And we'll give it a value of about. So if we go out and refresh, here we have home and here we have about. So we click home, we're taken here, we click about, this is the about page. So home and about. So nothing really changes. The master page stays the same. The only thing is, the only thing that changes is the information that's held within that yield tag so anything that's in the content now we can also include data also so if I wanted to take this navigation cut that and throw it into layouts create a new file save it as nav.blade PHP and save it in here and come back out and type at includes out.nav this should work this is how I would do it in level 3 so let's see Maybe it's include. Yes. So it's not includes, it's include. Of course, we have no styling here, so it's home and about, and it still works the same way. So you can see here how you can work with a modular design. In the next tutorial, we'll get in to models.